Hey guys, welcome to the Wow application pen testing class. Uh, guys, today we are going to talk about one of the, uh, you know, like uh, vulnerability, which is a part of OAS Top 10 2017. Uh, name is a uh, command injection. Basically, it's also called as like uh, operating system injection, or you can say the OS injection. So for giving you this demonstration, I will be using a uh, DVWA that I'm just running over the XAM server and uh, this is a command injection where uh, this particular application is intentionally designed for uh, checking that uh, you know like uh, or to you know, like uh, to try your skills uh, try and test your skills uh, in terms of uh, command injection exploitation so command injection exploitation purpose uh, i'm gonna use uh, basically one tool name is a comex so before i move ahead to the comex I'll be still taking your one or two minute uh, over uh, explaining you about the command injection vulnerability. Basically, it's a kind of attack which uh, you know like arbitrary commands uh, you know like uh, of a host uh, OS are executed uh, through a vulnerable application. So, in this kind of you know like the procedure, the attacker always used to pass the data uh, you know like. Uh, uh, to the you know like uh, the app you know like to the vulnerable application uh, you can say that you know like uh, use supply data which is uh, you know like uh, you know not properly sanitized uh, resulting which you know like it's uh, you know like exploit the vulnerability uh, which can be you know like in the form of uh, you know like uh, you know uh, given to the application uh, you know like uh, as, as a cookies or HTTP header or uh, anything i mean which is you know like uh, possibly helping with the attacker to you know, like uh, to exploit the such vulnerability now moving to the uh, the tool that i will be using for the command injection purpose is a comex uh, which is a tool uh, also called as like uh, you know like command injection exploiter uh, exploiter or uh, you know like uh, this tool basically is written in the python uh, which is you know like uh, uh, completely compatible with the Linux, uh, Windows, and the Macs. Uh, so this tool, which will be helping us to, uh, you know, like uh, to easily exploit the command injection short of vulnerability. And to show you a demonstration, I will be using a DVWA and this command injection. And the security level type that I'm currently using is a low. And then I will be using a burp suit to capture some cookies information and some parameter ids values which will be uh, you know like uh, used in the uh, you know like uh, you know uh, command to run successfully all right so just for testing purpose what i'll do is i'll be simply typing some command here like for example 127.0.0.1 which is a loopback address and let me see how this reacts when i'm just giving the ip address so basically what it does it uh, it will be you know like uh, start pinging as, as you can just see this and uh, if I type IP config so what it will be doing is it will be start pinging to the you know like uh, you know uh, to the loopback address as well as since I have used m% m% which is nothing but the uh, you know like uh, you know the instruction that start pinging to loopback address as well as and uh, you know like uh, perform the execution of the command ip config so this will be uh, you know like uh, helping us to uh, check some more details on that side all right so guys uh, i'll just be you know like uh, you know uh, going to exploit now so let me just uh, first of all introduce you guys uh, comics so in the comics Okay, so I'll be simply uh, Yeah, sorry, I was just closing my door uh, Okay, so moving ahead to this software now, comment
so this is the uh, help menu that you can use it guys here for performing the various uh, you know like tasks to do it the request purpose and enumeration purpose you can use those file access purpose modules injections detections and the miscellaneous so now i'm going to start some execution and i want to start pinging this loopback address and want to at the same time start proxy works of proxy and submit there we go so we have captured guys uh, enough detail now what i'm going to do is i'll be simply typing comics dash u is for the url and uh, then uh, this is the address that i want to give it and uh, then after that what i'll be doing is i'll be simply giving the detail of the cookie then data to which we want to inject that the ip to which i want to just get it checked whether vulnerable or not if vulnerable it should uh, you know like uh, just try and perform the various sort of command injection test and uh, give me the update whether actually you know like this is vulnerable or not so after that what i'll do is i'll be simply uh, just using uh, this method now and enter so it will be just checking whether the connection to the target url is actually successfully connecting or not so yes in our case it is connecting do you recognize the server operating system so yes i recognize so it's saying do you want to resume the result based classic command injection points so just simply enter and uh, yes it's saying that the post parameter ip seems injectable via result based classic command injection technique that it has passed it to the application uh, to the uh, you know like uh, you know like uh, vulnerable application dwa and do you want to shoot a terminal shell yes so this is how guys it's so simple if i just simply type who am i so right now i'm actually just doing nothing but running the commands to the remote host to which i have take a control through a shell via the vulnerable wow application by running the remote code execution in the command uh, you know like command injection uh, field so this is how you can just guys easily check the details if i type dir so you can see that the various files in the directory that it is showing me right now and uh, if i just type ip config so the presentation method of this tool will be in this way and if i type system info so all the uh, you know like windows related scan uh, sorry windows related uh, you know like uh, you know commands will be accepted by this but always remember guys in case if it is a you know like unix or a linux machine that you have hacked into uh, over which uh, your web server is deployed and the application is running over the web server so you have to accordingly change your commands to check more detail on that side so anyway this is a uh, time that uh, i have to get some more information like host names so let me just try and test some more file enumerations
it seems not to be working so I'm just gonna use a like host name host name I'm done by the way let me try and test users oh oh it's not working so uh, what I'll do is because uh, this is not actually a you know like a windows uh, command uh, let me just try and test net user oh great uh, so this is what it has found that the user uh, that so far we have is a user account and administrator account and all the windows related commands it will accept so which will easily helping us to uh, you know like uh, run the various commands and uh, apart from this we can perform some other sort of attack as well like for example this is also one of the way that in case if i want to enumerate the detail of user current user host name So whatever uh, the enumeration points that I want to, uh, you know, like uh, bring on the table uh, through this method, I can attempt those. So this is going to injecting the vulnerable, uh, I don't know, like command was uh, commands in the form of operative code. Inject into the vulnerable application now. So let me just uh, wait a little more. Uh, so this is how it is just printing the details. You can see that how it is fetching the all possible details for us. And in case if I want to shoot a user, then again I can do this. So I hope this is guys you would have loved it to use. Um, I know that I have may have not shown you the entire uh, you know like uh, commands, but this is what I would like you to just uh, you know like uh, to do some uh, Google about the subjects and do more short of practicals at your side once you have a good understanding and the awareness about the such tool. So. I uh, hope you have liked the video in case if you have any query you can please reach out to us so thank you so much for watching this video we'll see you soon in the next video thank you